Good morning students. In this video lecture, we will discuss the meaning and conceptual understanding of multiple correlation analysis. Multiple correlation deals with the situations that involve the estimation of second order correlation coefficient when three or more variables are involved. For example, if we are interested in estimating the height, we will make height the dependent variable and weight, age, etc. the independent variables. Thus, in problems of multiple correlation, we always have three or more variables wherein one dependent and the other independent variables. Further, in order that we may distinguish them easily, we follow the custom of representing them by the letter X with subscript. Thus, in the present example, height, age and weight problem, if we are trying to estimate the men's height, then height will be taken as the dependent variable and other will be taken as independent variables. Here, it must be noted that the coefficient of multiple correlation is called the coefficient of linear multiple correlation unless otherwise specified Whenever we refer to multiple correlation, we shall imply linear multiple correlation. The advantages of multiple correlation analysis. It serves as a measure of the degree of association between one dependent variable and group of independent variables. Number second, it also serves as a measure of goodness of fit of the calculated plane of regression and consequently as a measure of the general degree of accuracy of estimates made by reference to equation for the plane of regression. Advantages of multiple correlation analysis. It presumes that the relationship between variables is linear. In other words, the rate of change in one variable in terms of another is assumed to be constant for all values. In practice, most relationships are not linear but follow some pattern or other. Thus, this limits somewhat the use of multiple correlation analysis. Therefore, the linear regression coefficients are not accurately descriptive of curvilinear data. Point number second, it presumes that the effects of independent variables on the dependent variable are separate, distinct, and additive. Number third, its complexity in calculation at times generate errors, meaning thereby linear multiple correlation involves a great deal of work relative to the results frequently obtained. When the results are obtained, only few are able to interpret them. The misuse of correlation results has probably led to more doubt on the method than it is justified. However, this lack of understanding and results misuse is only due to the complexity of this method. Moving further, the multiple correlation coefficient is symbolized by capital R and in the following case, it is the multiple correlation coefficient wherein the variable 1 which is x1 is the dependent variable and variable 2 and 3 which is variable x2 and variable x3 are the independent variables. So we can calculate the coefficient of multiple correlation using this given formula. I am ending this video lecture on multiple correlation analysis over here and in the next video lecture we will talk about how to solve the numericals related to multiple correlation analysis. Thank you students. Have a nice day.